Are you confused by so many food fads out there, by so many people with competing information about nutrition? Today we are talking about, is red wine good for you? I'm Robin Openshaw and I'm known online as the Green Smoothie Girl. And I wanna to talk to you today about this idea that research tells us we should all be drinking a couple glasses of red wine every night. So. The first thing that I wanna say about this, if you think that I'm gonna take a stand at the end of this about red wine is wonderful for you or red wine is terrible for you, you're gonna be disappointed. But let me help you with your critical thinking skills in case you've never really thought this issue through. That research came out and it went crazy in the, in the media and that's a lot because of an engine of a major industry. And often with research, this is the case where if you traced it back, and usually you have to go back through universities who paid, who, who were the ones doing the research, but who paid for it before that? It's not easy to trace that back. But when data started to emerge, it was clear that guess who paid for the studies that say that red wine is good for you? Unsurprisingly, it tends to be the Sonoma Valley, Napa Valley wine growers, okay? Industries pay for research all the time. This should not surprise you. So does this mean that red wine is terrible for you? Probably not. But red wine has two major things I want you to consider if you're about to adopt a red wine habit or to excuse uh, drinking very much alcohol is that red wine is full of sulfites. Sulfites are uh, very toxic and most people have a major sensitivity to them. They're probably the reason you get headaches if you drink red wine. And also red wine has alcohol in it. Alcohol is terrible for your liver, you already know that. So the thing is, what's so great about red wine? It has resveratrol in it. Well, resveratrol is a wonderful antioxidant, but you can take it in a pill that doesn't have alcohol in it and doesn't have sulfites in it. You can get resveratrol from drinking grape juice that doesn't have alcohol in it. You can get resveratrol from eating grapes, the whole food with all the fiber. So if you're thinking about drinking red wine or if you justify a red wine habit, I hate being the naysayer. I don't like to be Debbie Downer, but if you're going to drink it organic, drink it very minimally and just know you can get resveratrol from other places that don't have alcohol and sulfites. Just something for you to think about if you liked this video and you want free recipes and great tips, make sure you sign up at greensmoothiegirl.com for when I release a new video or put out a newsletter sharing free information with you. See you next time.